Let's look outside. Kristen is on top of the coin tower. <laughs> Kristen, you've got your jacket on, so it's yeah. probably really cold when you get up, oh, 700 feet or so. Windy oh. at least. Yeah, it does get a little chilly. I think it's the wind more than anything else. And if I were moving around and running around in the sunshine, I don't think I need the jacket at all. I went for a run earlier today and it was amazing. And it's actually warmer now than it was then. So it is beautiful out. You just need to kind of shelter yourself from that breeze, the strong winds coming in from the gorge. But look how gorgeous it is out here. Uh, you can see Mount St. Helens. You can even see Mount Adams. Uh, skies mainly clear. And we're going to see the temperatures plummet pretty quickly uh, for many areas of the valley thanks to those clear skies that are in place right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on with the temperatures out there and take a look around the area. And you can see Mountain Meadows, check this out, 53 degrees up that way. And basically what we're looking at are our temperatures a little bit cooler down in government camp in the 40s, but really warm for this time of the year. Of course, 60 in Portland, Skamania, uh, we're in the mid 50s there, and then 64 degrees back towards Astoria. Uh, current temperature wise, up and down I-5, low to mid 60s, even though we had that slow start to the warm up down across southern areas of the valley due to the fog that developed last night. We've still seen those temperatures really climb. And then you get that offshore wind and it compresses on the west side of those mountains and the temperatures at the coast, some of areas hitting the 70s. Now take a look at this. So whenever we warm things up in the valley, that east wind through the gorge gets cranking and you can see that we are still seeing gusts up near 40 miles an hour, especially as you head out towards Troutdale. So the farther east you go, the stronger those winds are going to be. So breezy through the evening hours. We'll stay in the low 60s through the metro area through about 4 o'clock. And then as we continue through the rest of the evening, temperatures dipping down into the upper 50s. Satellite radar, uh, really not much showing up here. We have that huge ridge of high pressure over us. In fact, you can see the cloud cover just arcing back to our north. And that's uh, due to that area of high pressure. So all of our storm systems staying away for now. And we'll continue with the sunny, mild weather. Uh, tonight, we'll see mainly clear skies, watching for patchy fog to develop late, though the east winds will keep a lot of that out of the metro area down to 40 degrees and then tomorrow we'll start off with mainly clear skies lots of sunshine highs in the low to mid 60s again Tuesday is going to be gorgeous so if you didn't get a chance to enjoy it today make sure you do it tomorrow uh, your evening forecast the sky is staying mainly clear as we head through the next several hours we head into uh, your Wednesday and that is when things start to change so Tuesday looks beautiful by Wednesday morning you'll notice southerly winds increasing easterly winds decreasing and the clouds start to roll winds only partly sunny for Wednesday. Still nice and warm though, low to mid 60s. And then by the time we get into Thursday is when we really start to notice some of the changes. We'll see mainly cloudy skies and by Thursday night we'll have to watch out for showers from the west trying to push back in. So uh, we'll watch for those shower chances late Thursday and then we'll keep it going into the weekend. So hang on to what's happening right now. Beautiful day at the coast tomorrow. Offshore breeze. Highs in the mid to upper 60s but again some of us could hit the 70s uh, just like Tillamook down towards Newport. Your forecast for Tuesday Highs in low to mid 60s for I-5 uh, with fog in the morning and then sunny skies. Central and east highs uh, here will be in the 60s for Bend and Madras. And then we'll be looking at temperatures in the 40s for government camp uh, back towards Hood River, upper 50s. And those winds cranking again, gusting at times, especially in the western end of the gorge, up near 55 miles an hour. And here's that seven-day forecast. So low to mid 60s tomorrow, beautiful, beautiful day, just breezy at times. Uh, Wednesday, clouds increase. Thursday, mainly cloudy, still mainly dry. And so we're going to be looking at uh, temperatures falling after that and then temperatures in the 50s by the end of the week with those showers starting to push back in. So uh, we do have some changes moving in, but we still have, I think, a couple of really nice days, especially tomorrow to get out and enjoy, to go for that evening run, get out and do punch outside. Oh, it's just so refreshing to see uh, the sunshine and beautiful weather around here. I think we've earned it this year. Oh, <laughs> I completely agree with you. We have totally earned it and just standing in that sunshine feels so good this oh, afternoon. so nice. I'm nervous about Kristen knocking her phone off the ledge there, though. <laughs> it, oh, geez. It's a far fall. Hang it would happen to, to me. It would happen <laughs> to me. So I'm going to pull that and put it right back we'll in. We'll check back <laughs> in with you in a little bit. Thanks, okay. Kristen. <laughs>